bank in the little town of Glen Forks was held up by a couple of daring young outlaws. Sheriff Martin shot one of them as they galloped off down the street. But the other one made his escape. Matt Brady, the sheriff at Beaumont, the next town, was notified. His young daughter, Corky, had just baked a birthday cake for her old friend, Uncle Dan, who lived in the nearby woods. The wounded outlaw came riding into the woods just as Corky and her dog, White Shadow, were on their way to Uncle Dan's with the birthday cake. young outlaw, weakened by loss of blood from the gunshot wound in his shoulder, lost consciousness. Now, in just one minute, our story begins for today. Gabby, don't you dare tell Uncle Dan we're coming. It's a surprise. Oh, darn that, Gabby. Always spoiling everything. Now I'll go blatting it to everybody in the woods. Gabby, what's up? Oh, somebody coming, huh? Well, thank you very much. Now, Dutch, just come here. Let me at that. Yeah, I know. That's the trouble. Here. There you go. Now, you see? You shouldn't go around getting burrs in your ears and your toes. Now, your mother and father, they'd, they'd be ashamed of you, because wild animals know how to take care of themselves. Now, Duchess, I can't play with you all day. I got my work to do. Now, you get down. That's a girl. Hello, Uncle Dan. Well, if it isn't the little deputy sheriff. You know, Corky, I figured it was you the way Gabby was carrying on. Oh, that blabbermouth. Say, Uncle Dan, is there something the matter with lightning? Lightning? Yeah, he's acting kind of funny. Is he sick? Lightning sick? That critter's never been sick a day in his life. He's too lazy. Well, I still think you better check on him, because he's getting green around the eyes. Green? Mm-hmm. Well, maybe he's been overeating. Excuse me, honey. Come on, Yeah, Bring the basket. Well, what's the matter, Lightning? You got a tummy ache, huh? Well, it doesn't seem to me that there's much wrong with you. Now, what's going on here? Corky said that... Uh -huh. So that's what it is. Lightning, what's she up to this time, huh? That old lightning is just a... Well... Happy 
happy birthday, Uncle Dan. Well, bless my soul. So it is. I... I'd forgotten all about it. How do you like the cake? I baked it myself. It's a little crooked, but it's got lots and lots of frosting on it. Oh, chocolate. That's my favorite kind. Imagine an, an old duffer like me having a birthday party. Mm-hmm. And it's a surprise. And it's for everybody. Good. Good. I'll call in all our little friends. Scampering in in no time. Now, look, honey, you sit down here. Thanks, Uncle Dan. All right. Come on, come on, everybody. I'm gonna have a birthday party. <laughs> you know, I brought something for every one of them. I got carrots for lightning, and carrot tops for Minerva, and that's for Mr. Frazier, and candy for the rest of them. Oh, good. Here you go, Uncle Dan. Thank you, dear. Well, now, now, shall I cut the cake? Oh, no, you gotta blow out the candle and make a wish before you can cut it. Oh, I make a... Well, now, wait a minute, is everybody here? Well, there's Cicero, Mr. Frisbee, Gabby. Yeah. Hello, Barney. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Uncle Dan, there's lightning. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Minerva. I knew you wouldn't miss a party as long as there were were candles on the menu. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, say, where's Cologne? Here she comes, Uncle Dan. Oh, come on in, dear. Ah, oh, nobody's gonna hurt you now. Poor Cologne. You know, I wish those other animals would be a little more sociable to her. Oh, well, Corky, you can't blame them for not being too sociable. You know. Ah, poo. She wouldn't bother them, lest they bother her. Well, that's true. You know, it's a funny thing about skunks. They're the gentlest, most easygoing creatures in the forest, and the most feared. Oh, Mr. Mountain Lion himself treads mighty cautiously if he comes around a little smell cat. I don't blame him. <laughs> you know, Corky, nature is a very wise mother. She gives to each of her animals its special weapon of defense. Now, the bear has his strength, and the mountain lion is speed, and the porcupine is quills, and the turtle is hard shell. The little chameleon doesn't have to do anything except change color. And then there's our little friend, Cologne. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Once when Shadow was a fool pup, he chased one. What happened? He got skunked. <laughs> pup wouldn't let him in the house for a week. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello, Dolly. Yeah, Martin. Tell Matt it was the Durango dude who got away. The Durango dude, huh? Well, Matt had a hunch that's who it was. Yeah, we got it out of his partner. The one we got here. Calls himself the Nevada Kid. Yeah. It'll be a long time before he'll be holding up any more banks. A black and white paint, huh? Yes, I've got it. Well, I'll see that he gets the message right away. Goodbye, Sheriff. Oh, Freddie, will you find Sheriff Brady and tell him that I... Freddie! Freddie, where are you? Oh, dress that youngster. He's never around when you want him. If you fellas want anything else, get it yourself. I've got to go out. Sure he was headed this way, Sheriff. No other way he could go. Sheriff Martin and his men chased him halfway through Glen Forks Canyon before he lost him. 
Well, he could have cut through the woods. Not likely, unless he figures to hole up for a spell. Yeah, a man could hide in those woods for a month without us finding it. Yep, sure could. shall I wish? I think I'll... Shh. You mustn't tell Uncle Dan. It won't come true. Oh, I can't tell. Oh, well, let's see. I got it. Good for Uncle <laughs> Dan. There. Now you are my hostess. Right. There you go. Thank you, dear. <laughs> I guess I better put a piece of cake outside for Snitch, so he can think he's stealing it. Oh, that little thief. You know, I'm trying to cure him of stealing. You shouldn't encourage him, Corky. But, Uncle Dan, it's a birthday. Oh, all right, all right. Snitch, I got some cake for you to steal. Come on and get it wherever you are. Now I'll take care of Shadow and Duchess. Uh, well, may I start? Sure. Mmm, uh, delicious. You like it? Mm. Mm. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Is that tickle your sweet tooth, Duchess? <laughs> you bet it's good, Shadow. God forget you, did you, Lightning? <laughs> oh, oh, now you spoil him. <laughs> now, oh, would you like to give this to Minerva? <laughs> Minerva. I got something else for her. Well, Look at it. Uh-huh. Well, give her this for dessert. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Minerva. Here, try this. Uncle Dan sent it to you. Well, you know, I haven't got all year. Now, maybe I'll get a chance to do some eating. Well, you're gonna like it. It's delicious. You sure? Yeah, well, I wish I could do half as well. Is it as good as Dolly Porter's? It, yes, I, I, I think it is. I think I'll sample it. said the fellow who robbed the bank is the Durango dude. I had a hunch that's who it was. Yes. They got it out of his partner, the Nevada kid. The Nevada kid, eh? Well, now at least we know who we're looking for. Yeah. All we gotta do is find him now. He's writing a black and white paint, Sheriff Martin said. Black and white. You hear that, boys? Black and white paint. Thanks, Dolly. 
You're a big help. I'll keep you in touch. Good-looking woman, Dolly Porter. Yeah. Now, don't you go getting any ideas about us. <laughs> Ain't quirky. I think my little duchess is taking quite a shine to White Shadow. Yeah, I've been noticing the way she's been making eyes at him. <laughs> Just the same way that Dolly Porter makes eyes at my pop. Well, he could do worse. Hmm? Uh, I mean White Shadow. Oh. Yeah, you know, she's a very pretty little girl, my duchess, even though she is a coyote. Dolly Porter's pretty, too. Kind of old, though. Old? Oh? I don't think she's a... How old do you think she is? Golly, Uncle Dan. I bet you she must be at least around 32. All right. Oh, well, that's a ripe old age. I didn't know that. <clears throat> See, it sure is pretty out here in the woods, ain't it, Uncle Dan? Yeah. I'm a happy man, Corky. What with all my little friends around me here to keep me company. Yeah, you sure got a flock of them. <laughs> <laughs> There's no chance of my ever being lonely with them around, and that's for sure. <laughs> That's for darn sure. <laughs> How about a little song, Uncle Dan? Oh, all right. Out in the woods where the township ends, Uncle Dan has lots of friends. He will never be alone, cause he knows the skunk that he calls alone. Uncle Dan. In an easy going way. One of his friends that you ought to know is an owl named Sister Ro. He can give such good advice when he hoots that you better listen twice. Uncle Dan, happy man in an easy going way. Out in the woods where the coyotes howl, Uncle Dan just loves to prowl. He will never be alone for the birds and the squirrels like to take him home. Uncle Dan, happy man in his easy going way. When Uncle Dan has to go to town, you'll see lightning coming round, ambling at his burrow speed, and that's as fast as a man could need. Uncle Dan, happy man in his easy going way. In the woods where the chipmunks live, Uncle Dan has lots to give. He can tame an ornery fox when he plays away on his old sweet box. Uncle Dan, happy man in his easy going way. In his easy going way. In his easy going way. <laughs> <laughs> I guess me and Shadow better get going home. You know, we left that kitchen in an awful mess. <laughs> oh, well, thank you for a wonderful party, Corky. And that was the most delicious cake I ever tasted. Well, you sure deserved it, Uncle Dan. Well, goodbye, my dear. Goodbye, Uncle Dan. And a happy birthday. I hate to tear you away, Shadow, but come on. <laughs> goodbye, Corky. We all thank you for the party. Gosh, he's hurt. You better go get Uncle Dan quick. <laughs> 